Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to our continuing series on C++. Just like to take a moment to thank everybody for continuing on this far. Hopefully I can teach you some more of what you need to know. Now, we're going to talk just, this is going to be a very quick lesson because I don't want to spend too much time dwelling on, you know, nested ifs because in general, we're going to try to avoid them. Now, that's not always going to be possible, but we'll see what we can do. Now, assume that we have this um, really kind of gnarly sort of problem where people get paid commission based on how much they sell. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to take a couple of lines and comment them, and I'm going to explain you this type of problem. So let's say we have commission sales, and anyone uh, who sells more than, let's say, 500 gets a $50 bonus. Now, we'll say on top of their normal pay rate. Anyone who sells over $1,000 gets, let's say, 5% commission and a $50 bonus. And anyone who sells over 2500 gets a 10% commission and a $100 bonus. Now, I mean, I don't know what kind of job would do this, but sign me up. Um, so here's what we need to do. We're just going to keep the same thing. We're going to say, if sales are less than 500, it still needs improvement. But we're also going to add in a, a new sort of uh, I don't know, uh, a new sort of variable here, and we're going to call it pay. Again, variable names can be whatever you want. You can call it smiling duck if you want. doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our sales, and we're going to make another uh, if. So in this case, we're going to be dealing with the same if. Um, I could do an else, but I'm testing for three things, which means that I need at least one else if. So in this case, we're going to do else if sales are, we'll say, greater than 500, and sales are less than 1,000, then they're actually not getting anything. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 they're getting a $50 bonus. Okay, so... Um, we'll just add that right onto their pay. We'll say C out, good work, and then what we'll do from there is we'll do pay plus equals 50. And that's a way of giving them a $50, you know, sort of a bump. And we'll just call it 50.0, so that way we're sure it's treated uh, as a double. Well, technically that's a float, but anyways. Neither here nor there. Okay, so anyone who sells over a thousand, um, so in this case we're testing to make sure it's over a thousand. So sales greater than one thousand and sales less than twenty five hundred. What we're doing here is we're seeing that person gets five percent commission. So we're going to do sales. Um, you know what, we'll do pay equals sales multiplied by 0 0.05 and then pay equals or plus equals 50. And we'll just add in a little message here for our employee, I suppose, and say great work old chap 
and that should handle that. Now, our final statement, since it's the only thing we're checking for now, is if it's greater than 2,500. But we've already covered every other statement. If it's less than 500, that covers everything from 500 down to negative infinity. So that's not, you know, that's covered. 500 to 1,000 is covered, and then 1,000 to 2,500 is covered. So that means that we don't actually have to test for anything here, because if it makes it here, then it's already, you know, it's already done. It's already over 2,500. So then all we need to do is we need to do pay equals sales multiplied by 0.1, 0. The 0 is optional. I just wanted to show you it's 10%, not 5. Um, and then pay plus equals 100. And we're going to say C out. Excellent job. Now what we'll do is we're just going to set a, a standard pay rate. We're going to say they make 300 a week as salespeople. Um, now the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick copy paste of their uh, pay. So I'm just going to add backslash ends there, see how it pay. And I'm going to do the same type of thing here, here, and here. So this way we can sort of play around with it and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to say that this guy's sales are 401. And he needs improvement. And that means he made $300, which is how much he makes just as his base pay. We'll try compiling again. We'll enter our sales of uh, $1,307. Oops, and that just went somewhere. Probably in the program. Probably not going to be good. Okay, so we have $1,307, and that's actually a bug. Uh, oh, and that's what it is. I forgot to put the plus in there. You have to be careful when you're dealing with uh, anything like this. So in this case, I actually needed a set of parentheses rather than setting an equal to. See, there's little errors in logic like that waiting around everything. So we'll try that again. Uh, I believe that the number I used was 1307. And there you go. Now you're making $415. And we'll try one more, and we'll say that you made 2741 in sales. And again, not right, because I forgot to add parentheses and a plus. And so what would have been 371 there is now, uh, I forget the number I used, I'll say 2703 is now $670, so I just shorted you half your pay because I forgot a set of parentheses and a plus sign. So as you can see, this this type of uh, nested if statement is powerful in that we can select things based on what a user inputs. And that's going to follow us for the remainder of these tutorials is we give the user more control and we make the program handle it differently. Um, as we progress, we're also going to see ways that we can make the user do what we want. We can make them enter numbers that we say they can enter and make it have to be within a certain range and a certain type and things like that. So I hope that you'll join me again next time. If you need any help, feel free to leave a comment or uh, shoot me a message. Uh, subscribe if you like it, and have a good night.